Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of personal financial literacy. We are using number 1 off the 2018 release star test, and this is standard 3.9a in the great state of Texas. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this is one of our problems here that we don't have any type of operation. There's no addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division because we're supposed to understand how money works. That's what personal financial literacy is all about. Understanding how the economy works, how money works, how people get paid. So we have Nina. She works for a restaurant and the restaurant pays her every week for the work that she does. Some weeks she works more hours than other weeks. So she's being paid every week and the amount of hours that she gets paid is different. Some weeks she works more, some weeks she works less. So we just need one of these statements, A, B, C, or D, they're going to be true. The other three are going to be false. And so what we need to do is we need to take a look at these two terms. Let's make sure we understand labor and income and how are they related because you're going to see them. We've got income, income, and then we've got labor and labor. Okay, so labor is work you do. So when she's going to work, when Nina is working for her restaurant, whether she's cooking food, whether she's working the cashier, whether she's waiting tables, she's not just standing around. She's doing work. So she is getting paid for the work that she's done in the form of income. So income is payment for labor. So that's how those two are related. Labor is work you do for somebody else, a corporation, maybe it could be someone from your family, and you do work for them and they pay you income. And that income simply means the amount of money you get. Now they don't pay you every single day. She gets paid every week. Some people get paid every two weeks. Some people get paid once a month. It just depends on where you work. But the amount of income changes based on several things, but we will look at that relationship here because we're going to find that in A, B, C, and D. So let's look at A. When Nina works fewer hours, she earns more income. So let's look at our keywords here. So when she works fewer hours, she is going to earn more income from the restaurant. Well, that is not going to work because that just doesn't make sense, does it? If she worked more hours, then she would get more income, because that's how it works. The more hours you work, the more money you make. Uh, the way if you want to increase income, you got two options really to increase your income or increase the amount of money that you earn, right? So you can either work more hours, do more work, more hours, and that's labor, right? Or sometimes you might get paid more. Uh, so you get paid per hour, so maybe you get a raise. But maybe instead of work, earning $10 an hour, you work, you earn $12 an hour. So you can get paid more for the same amount of work. These are really the two ways you're going to increase your income. You're going to do more labor, or you're going to get paid more for the same job. So A is not going to work, because you don't get more money for fewer hours. You get more money for more hours. So let's look at B. When Nina works more hours, she earns more income. Well, that's exactly what we've been saying. So I'm thinking B is going to be correct. More hours means more money. That makes perfect sense. Let's see what C and D says. When she works more hours, the restaurant gets less labor. No, unless she's just standing around not doing anything, the more she works, the more labor they're going to get from her because that's uh, that's what she's up there to do. She's there to, to work and do some things. So that's not going to work. Let's see what D is. When Nina works fewer hours, they get more labor. No. When Nina works more hours, they get more labor because those two are related. So you notice how everything needs to be more and more or less and less. You don't really have a fewer and a less uh, together there. So our answer is going to be B. When she works more hours, she earns more income from the restaurant. That's how labor and income work.